In this lesson, we will look at the Move and Copy command in AutoCAD. We will look at these together because they work in the same way with the same inputs. To begin, I'll draw a line and then a circle to have some objects to work with. I'll start by looking at moving some objects in arbitrary distance. So here's the move command on the modify toolbar. You can also type move or use the alias M. I'll select the icon and we are now prompted to select objects. I will select the line and circle then confirm the selection by pressing enter. At this point we're prompted for a base point or a displacement. Because this is an arbitrary move, I'll randomly select a point in the drawing area to define the base point. When I left click and move the cursor, you see that the selected objects move. There is also a rubber band line extending from the base point to the current location of the cursor. This line represents the vector displacement of the move that you're about to apply. When I left click, the objects move by that vector displacement. So I've moved these objects an arbitrary distance in an arbitrary direction. That's one way of using the move and or copy command. Another way is by using the object snaps. For instance, I could move this circle so that the center point was at the end point of this line. In order to do that, first select move. We want to move the circle, so select it and press enter. Notice that the running object snaps are on. So I'll select the center point of this circle as the base point and then move the circle so that its center is at the end point of the line. And there we have moving with the use of object snaps. Another common situation is when you want to move or copy an object to a specific coordinate location. In this case, I'll use the copy command. Select copy and we will copy the circle and the line so that the center of the new circle and endpoint of the new line will be at the origin of the coordinate system. Press enter to stop selecting and pick the center of the circle or the endpoint of the line as the base point. For the second point of displacement, type 0, 0 for the origin and press enter. Press enter again to stop the copy command. Now I'll zoom to the extents of the drawing. Type Z, enter, E, enter, and you see we have a copy of the line and circle with the center point of the circle at the origin of the world coordinate system. Now another situation that commonly occurs is that you want to either move or copy an object or group of objects a specific distance. To demonstrate this, I'll use the move command. Select the move icon. I will move the circle and the line from the present location to a point which is 100 units to the left and 50 units down. To perform this operation, it does not matter what I use for the base point. I can select anywhere on the drawing and then use relative coordinates to specify the move because the move will be relative to whatever point I select. So I'll choose an arbitrary base point. For the second point of displacement, type the at symbol to indicate relative coordinates. Then we want to move 100 units in the negative x direction. So type negative 100 comma, and negative 50 because we want to move down 50 in the y direction. Press enter and you see that the circle and line were moved 100 units in the negative x direction and 50 in the negative y. This completes the tutorial on using the move and the copy command in AutoCAD.